Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. I'm so happy you guys are with me today because we are on our index card Scrabble Piece Challenge, the letter T. Okay, guys, I have two T's here for my Scrabble Pieces, and I have two index cards that I've corn around it and inked already. And as you can tell, she's trying to say something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to ignore her. All right, so... Um, yeah, we are up to the letter T. We got six letters to go and I cannot wait to get to the end so I can show you guys all the index cards that I've created. It's sitting in that box that I picked up at the thrift store filled with index cards and wondered what to do with this and came up with the index card Scrabble Piece Challenge while I was crafting across America. I had two things, index cards, glue, and scrabble pieces, <laughs> and it just that's just how it started. So we got six letters left in the alphabet to finish this whole thing up. So let's just get started, all right? I'm going to go with the theme of, um, let's see, Taylor. So I have uh, here on my desk a little die cut of a dress form as well as some other pieces like this and this to collage with and then I'm going to go with the theme of Tesla and time and here I have a couple of time pieces these are little clocks and I have a little recipe for tortillas here on my desk from the oldest cookbook <laughs> still in, in still around um, oh yeah I have this little turtle and just some more recipe stuff and some other papers to play with. Oh, and I have a little treat here. This is a twig. I went outside in my front yard and picked up some twigs. Okay. All right. So that being said, let's just get started. Um, let's see what's under here. Okay. So yeah, let's just get started on my, on my little um, stamping board here. I have this index card. And I figured I would do the tickets and Tesla stuff on this index card. I just ink this with the darkest ink I have in the color brown, which is ground espresso. And this one I inked in, um, what is that called? Soot? Black soot? Yeah, I believe it's soot. <laughs> it looks like soot. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to use some glue. I'm in love with this jot glue jot activity it's a lot stronger than just their standard washable okay so i just had a major glue craft a lunch <laughs> it's a lot stronger than their washable um jot glues so i'm loving this glue right here i'm just going to start tearing up paper and using it really nilly on this page on this index card okay so here's this uh, to get rid of this dark white edges I'm gonna ink it and I'm just using whatever's on my brown dauber and I believe it's ground espresso so I try to prep as many things as possible this way this video doesn't run way longer than it needs to um but yeah i'm really i'm so excited that i'm up to the letter t you have no idea like how how fast this process goes and then how rewarding it is at the end right so yeah it really is so i'm just gonna pop this down right here no rhyme or reason i'll tear off the sections that i do not need in fact i can tear a lot more of this off we don't need all of this. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I can even go in closer on this end. We know that's a dress form right there. And she is definitely a dressmaker. So what I did with my dauber. Okay, so yeah, I'll just ink around this section. Okay. So perfect. I'm going to add glue to the image and not to my paper this time. This way I don't waste any glue. So I hope y'all are having a crafty day. This is one of our 
awesome Make It Mondays and not Naked Monday, <laughs> but Make It Monday. <laughs> Um, I, I thought I said Naked Monday even. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, this is one of our awesome Make It Monday. There's a cute little dress guide, right? So I'm just going to put that down right here in its entirety. I'll pop that right here. I'll round the corners on this even. right there and I think I want this little dress stand so yeah guys I hope y'all are having an awesome day just doing fun things I did explain to you guys how my finger is getting better but it's just taking forever and it's expected right because um, yeah it just it is expected so I know like I I think I've stumped my toe before and it just took forever for my toenail to grow back um, so yeah I'm just expecting this for my finger as well and the nail has not fallen off yet but it's getting there it's getting close um, I just keep cutting back my cuticles so that my um, the nail underneath will grow back faster but yeah in hopes of that happening um, I am hopeful that this will be better soon so yeah I'll just glue that right there and again I'm using jot activity glue if you guys haven't seen this yet at your dollar store Dollar Tree I believe Dollar Tree is the jot distributor um, but yeah if you guys have not seen this just keep an eye out for it because I'm sure it is coming uh, I don't want to cover up too much of that but here we go it is what it is and I can tear this little section off right there alright let's get to gluing down some really important pieces on this card so again I want to use this tortilla recipe this is my old my very old uh, cookbook and I think I was I started to tell you guys I picked this up in a town called Ajo I may have mentioned it in another video um, I picked this up this cookbook in a very old quiet town called Ajo Arizona it's right on the border of um, Arizona and Mexico and um, just to the south of it is an Indian reservation and um, the next town over is a town called Y W H Y I think they wanted to name this is what I've heard they wanted to name the town Y like the letter Y and um, there's some state Senate rule that your town has to have a minimum of three letters so they went with W H Y because <laughs> and then the question is like why why would you <laughs> why would you want to uh, name your town why so anyway um, it's a very small town if you drive through it and blink you might miss it but um, I drove through there to uh, where did we go we went to the um, Socor the Socorro National Park so there are these cacti oh it's the organ pipe the organ pipe um, National Park and there are these cacti that grow in like like an organ pipe basically so they look I know this is a waste of time right <laughs> Uh, they look like this like they have a bottom right and then all the cacti grow out of it like this but they're huge they're like eight to ten feet tall and um, it looks like an organ pipe anyway what else just thought I'd share that with you guys but yeah I went to that National Park um, got my National Park stamp in my um, book 
and um, yeah that was a fun time it was a really interesting time <laughs> I spent a lot of time with my friends that year just traveling around and um, you know working from home working on the road but um, yeah it was a lot a lot of fun I mean I miss Arizona so much there's so much country out there to to explore and um, that's my goal for 2023 besides eating healthier I will um, travel a lot more just to be able to uh, spend time with friends and see a lot of this this great great wide open country that we have available to us so yeah no borders no border crossing in between states and uh, yeah just a lot of fun to be had right guys so I'm gonna ink this one ground espresso this was just a little saying that says life isn't about finding yourself it's about creating yourself and I thought this was so fitting for um, for this process because every day you get the opportunity to reinvent yourself right you don't have to get stuck in a rut we all have the same free will to do it's just that right recreate reinvent yourself create yourself be yourself you know be whomever you are and um, I'm an artist okay whether I want to admit it or not or you know um, accept it I'm a creator I have to make something almost every day otherwise I feel a little a little sad a little empty even if it's a meal like if I cook a meal for myself or my family every day I'm still creating something I'm not reinventing the wheel <laughs> we as humans have been eating forever but you know just make your own things make things if you want something um, it's okay to buy it but if if the ability to make it exists then go ahead and make it right so yeah these cards were um, something that I could not purchase anywhere right you, you can't buy these this is this is all self made index cards um, the uh, the creativity behind it is all mine so yeah you can't buy these anywhere no matter <laughs> no matter how hard you try I will never sell these um, for any reason so you'd have to make your own guys join in on, on the fun and make your own so I'm just adding a little bit of art glitter glue if it'll come out to play um, on my on this section of the card that uh, is lifted okay there's a little bit of art glitter and um, yeah for some reason this one doesn't want to play today is it because it's PVA duh it's not art glitter that's why it's so thick okay this one I know for sure is art glitter okay um, yeah so there's this okay I'm gonna put this little card on here it's a little bit of um, the book from the spring botanic junk journal that I made I like this little piece so I'm just gonna add it down here and then we'll go back to playing with our Taylor card I'm just trying to figure out the best location for it around this corner ink it and tuck it up here okay and of course it's a little too thick I'll add some art glitter and tuck it back in this corner right there okay so there's that um okay so for my my tailor I want to do some stamping on here and the quickest way I found to get my stamping done is to use my stamping block this pad and I'm just going to make sure everything lines up where I want it this can move over 
this can go over there. Oh, needs to move over here. Yep. So this is where I want everything to go on here. I'm just going to use, uh, let's use, excuse my arm, let's use some VersaFine ink and Onyx Black. And hopefully this all goes well. I've never used these stamps before, except maybe this dress form. But for the most part, I don't think I've used this, any of these stamps on anything else. So I hope it takes the ink well, and I hope it transfers the ink well, because um, doing it once is the key. Is <laughs> the whole point of using this uh, stamping pad. All right, so I'm just gonna pop it down right over here. Okay, here we go. Just gonna slide it up a little. Slide it back a little. Okay guys, wish me luck. So anyway, I think my master board came out so nice. Like here, I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like in just a few, but um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the way it came out because to me it's just, it's so, so pretty, so um, useful, right? Because I can do anything with the master board. And I think during the whole process, I did show you guys that we did get three master boards out of the scraps that I pulled out from um, my scrap box. And um, here I'll just show you guys. I'll just show you guys now. So this was the original. Um, this was the original one. After I spritzed it with my um, acrylic glue, this is just acrylic glue with water. I spritzed all of them with uh, just some acrylic glue mixed with water, and then I stamped everywhere on here, and this came out so nice. This is the original one that I made. This was the one that um, I realized I had scraps left over and was like, hey, I gotta do something with this. So both of these are on that um, sketchbook paper from that sketch pad that I picked up at the Goodwill. So this is what this one looks like, and they're all nice and dry. They had to dry like, you know, a couple of days after stamping it. And then I pulled out, this is some construction paper. I pulled this out somewhere of my stash and this was the final one that I had all of the plain pages left. Um, I went ahead and drizzled glue, I mean, <laughs> drizzled paint all over it. Um, spritzed it a lot with some, um, you know, white, um, the white acrylic paint and then stamped on it. So this is the final, the final image of each of these. That's what that looks like. And then this was the original one. So yeah, three, three different, completely different um, master boards, but so much can be done with them, you know? So don't throw away your scraps. I mean, for the most part, keep them. But, uh, oh, that came out not too, not too bad. It could have been a little bit better. I really wanted my word Taylor up here. So I'll slide this up to about here. Let's just see. Too high. Um, yeah, so don't throw away your scraps because it's always useful. And then I need to move this guy down here to finish off my border down there. Okay, yep. So I just need to ink two objects on here, which is the word Taylor, because that's the theme we're going with, as well as my little border down here. And finish off that little border at the bottom. Okay, here we go. Last stamping opportunity.
okay whatever it is it is there we go all right so there's that um let me close up my ink before something terrible happens all right so let me move this out of the way and we can start gluing down some of these pieces so now my ink is kind of wet so I will give it ample time to dry and I'm just gonna add these little this little die cut of a dress form I think I'm gonna put my word trust on here because you really do need to trust your tailor so I will add trust right in the middle and I'm using my Fabri-Tac glue this is what it looks like it's also in my Sugar Bell icing piping bottle and um, basically it glues paper to paper paper to fabric and fabric to fabric um, you can use it to make curtains and clothing and it's a tacky glue it's a silicone glue that um, like I said it'll glue just about anything I've glued wood with it because this is what we're using right now I've glued um, my Scrabble pieces down with it so yeah I think you should trust whoa you should trust your tailor there's that and then I'll add this little Scrabble piece as well on here I got strings of glue all over the place okay so I'm gonna set this aside to dry including my ink that I've just stamped so okay there's that and then afterwards I'm going to well before I go I'm gonna go ahead and punch this right now with my crocodile just right here close to the edge but not off the page <laughs> and I'm gonna add this little this little charm that says trust so I'm gonna put an eyelid in and I will squash it and then I will place my charm in there this is always the hardest part right the tiniest objects um, possible always gives you the hardest time so I will place this right here at the end of the page okay so there's that here's our little charm dangling off the edge there it says trust so again, I'll set this aside to dry. All right, let's go back to this one really quickly. And I have a lot of stamping to do on here. So I said this is my Time and Tesla card. So here we go. And I've never used these stamps before. So bear with me while I figure it all out. So I have here, ooh, Tesla Company. I will place this on the stamping pad and use VersaFine ink. Okay. And then I will um, stamp some of these gears and different objects on here okay not too shabby don't know why the middle section missed it but I will stamp it again right about here
okay and yeah it's missing like I said I've never used these before so it may need some uh, it may just needs to be used a little off more often so let me find a smaller one to go on here this is the actual oof anyway <laughs> that's the actual electric circuit I've seen the Tesla documentary um, this is when he tested uh, DC power oh my gosh anyway <laughs> I will digress and not get too excited over that but here are some Tesla uh, objects um, maybe experiments and I will just stamp it just about anywhere and get that off my desk before it dries okay so we're almost done guys I still have to add my timepiece and my little turtle it's going on here I want to stamp a ticket or two because why not it's a letter T and um, yeah and then we'll be all done oh wow <laughs> this is a full three ticket I don't know how I'm gonna do this uh, this is how I'm gonna do it here we go this is a three ticket stamp and this will make a nice border except I have something down there already I'll just stamp it across the middle yep right through here okay hopefully this transferred yes nicely okay so now with some fabric fix fabric tack or beacon three in one or whatever you guys have available to you you can glue down all of these wood pieces okay glue my little turtle right there here are my time pieces isn't that cute this little wooden clock and I have this guy I don't know if this is a sticker or not I don't think so so I'm just going to fabric fix it down in its entirety right side up hopefully or it doesn't really matter and don't forget the T sorry guys my glue is hardly ever ready I'll leave it down for now because I also can't forget to glue down my twigs okay and this can be a really nice border around the edges as well there's that one and here's this one and as we know T is the 20th letter of the alphabet so I'm gonna put on here my number 20 2 and 0 okay as well as my little vinyl T that has the word twig on it so there's that I'm just gonna pop it down right in here and I will take this little mm, yeah I'll take this little T and stick it well so I'll take my other index card and place my large 
vinyl tee on it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And I'll pop it down right here. Okay. So here we go. This is our Tesla card with time pieces and twigs and a little sticker that says twig. Um, it's the 20th letter of the alphabet. And yeah, there's my little Scrabble piece. All right. So there's that one. And then this one, I just did trust and tailor. Kept it really simple. And um, yeah, I've added dress forms and, you know, dressmakers and a little chime that says trust okay all right guys i think that's about it that's <laughs> that's as far as we can go i'm gonna leave you guys like right here i hope you guys have a super crafty day go do something wonderful and um yeah just stay naturally curious check out my links down below in the description box as well as hitting that bell for notifications after you've subscribed to the channel if you like the content here on this channel give this video a thumbs up I really do appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribed and comment and hit like and hang out with me in my crazy craft room. So stay naturally curious, guys, and I will definitely talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.